This is how we hold the drumsticks. Spend the necessary time on getting this right in the beginning and you're gonna save a whole bunch of time in the future. In this video, we're gonna look at the following. Anatomy of the drumstick, hand placement and movement of the stick, positioning on the kit, how to practice your grip, and those common errors. There are four parts of the stick to be aware of. The butt, this is the thick end at the bottom of the stick. The body, this is the part we grip. The shoulder, we can use this to strike cymbals. And just the tip, most commonly used to strike both drums and cymbals. That's the parts of the stick. Now let's look at our hand placement. Rest the drumstick on your first fingers. We're looking to divide the stick roughly into three equal parts. Where your finger intersects the stick closer to the butt end, hold the shoulder with the opposite hand and rest the second pad of your first finger on top of and perpendicular to the stick. Without losing this connection, turn the stick so that the tip points up and the pads on your first finger now face your body. Place your thumb on the stick so that it makes a T shape or cross with your first finger running parallel with the stick. Squeeze gently so that you can hold the stick and release your other hand. Now wrap your remaining three fingers lightly around the stick, strong enough to hold, but not enough to choke. Finally, relax your first finger so that the job of gripping your stick falls to your thumb and the back three fingers. This is your grip. To play the drums, we use various pivot points or fulcrums on our body. As a beginner, your first pivot point to focus on is the one in your wrist. With your grip in place and your index fingers relaxed, start to flick your wrist up and down. For your grip to be correct, your thumb and back three fingers will maintain their connection with the stick at all times. As the stick moves within your hand, it will run along the second and first pad of your first finger. If you grip too tight with the back three, this running will not happen. And if you don't grip tight enough, you'll drop the stick. Place the sticks on your snare drum for now. Sit comfortably with a straight back and your arms hanging at your sides. Hinge from your elbows to bring your hands up so that your forearms are parallel with the ground. Palms facing down, hands open. Pick up the sticks and return your arms to this position. Remember, we're holding them in the way we have just discussed. Thumb and back three fingers connected with the stick, relaxed index fingers, palms facing the ground. Position the sticks on the drum so that the tips meet in the middle. They can create an angle anywhere between 45 and 90 degrees, whatever feels comfortable. Now you can practice moving each stick up and down by hinging at the wrists while maintaining your grip. There may be a little movement in your forearms, however we want the majority of the motion generated from the wrists, not the elbows. Each time we strike, we're aiming for the middle of the drum. As we move to different surfaces, we use our arms to get us into position and then our wrists to play the notes. If you find yourself using a lot of forearm motions where you're hinging from the elbows, this will only slow you down in the long run. Learn to play from your wrists. So how do we practice this? Generally speaking, this is more about maintaining a conscious awareness during our playing than having specific exercises to develop this technique. I advise starting with single strokes on a snare or pad, with or without a click. To increase the difficulty from here, we can move the single strokes around the kit, and if you've learned how to go from a groove to a fill, you can practice this too. Whatever you decide to play, it just needs to be easy enough so that you can pay attention to how you're holding your sticks rather than what you are playing with them. I'd recommend spending five minutes at the beginning of each practice to become familiar with your grip. Asking yourself, are you free of unnecessary tension? Is your fulcrum in place? Are your fingers connected to the stick? Are your first fingers relaxed? Is each shot producing a single note rather than a buzz? Over a short period of time, your grip will become automatic. It will feel right instantly. Check in on it occasionally during your practice, but soon enough, it will just be. Finally, we're gonna look at some common errors. If you're brand new to drums, there's a good argument for skipping this section. Focus on the positive directions already given rather than the negatives to follow. If you've already been playing for a bit, there are three things worth looking out for. and I recommend correcting these immediately if you experience any of them. Number one, losing your thumb connection. This will allow the stick to move in directions other than just up and down, not something we want. It can also cause the player to grip the stick with a closed fist, something I like to call Neanderthal grip, but make no mistake, this is not a useful grip. Number two, curling your first finger around the stick. This isn't the worst thing in the world as a beginner, but it will promote unwanted tension in your grip. There is also a tendency to grip the stick solely with your thumb and first finger, losing the connection with the back three. When you want to move on to more advanced stick control techniques, this will hinder you. Keep your first fingers relaxed. 
Number three, locking your first finger out. This will often produce buzzing when you hit a drum as the stick is prevented from bouncing back. I was told you could potentially break your finger doing this, but if I'm honest, I'm a little bit skeptical of that. I'd be more concerned about the sound it produces. Either way, you want your first finger relaxed so that the stick can run along it freely. That's your lesson on grip. Enjoy your practice.